we're stopping, but fuck me! Yeah, wow. Oh, look, we're about to go through a tunnel. Please use your hands. Holy shit, that's some majesty. Oh, wow, we. Oh, it's quite the panorama. Hey, hello, Mr. Kier. <laughs> G'day. You gonna come and eat my camera? Yeah, you're very friendly. <laughs> please don't eat my car, it's a rental. <laughs> I said, please don't eat my car. Hey, bro. It's all right. Please don't eat my car. Oh my god. For anyone not aware, these are cares and they're assholes. They chew on like metal and rubber and things and they, they love a good bit of car destruction. And they've got very beautiful red feathers under their wings. And they're not rare, they're just assholes. No. Please do not. <laughs> See, look he's done. Look at that. <laughs> Oi, don't. Please don't. No! No! Come on! <laughs> He's got bands on his feet, yeah, they're I guess. All bands. Mm -hmm. Keep track of them. He's very strong beaks. Look. They are very, he nipped me before and it actually was, he was very gentle. I'm sorry I don't look very impressive. You'll forgive me, right? Mr. L doesn't want to be in the vlog, but he is here. We're here in Milford Sound. I've always wanted to come here. It's, uh, I suppose, one of the most beautiful parts of the country, and I've never been here. So, we're taking a little boat trip today, and I thought I would share it with you. We're going on the big blue one. It's a very pretty boat. Good on you. Ta. I'm armed with a sandwich. And we're going. Bye. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard Whoa. the Milford Mara. He's a Gemini. He likes long walks along the beach, <laughs> poetry, sunsets, and death metal. What were you just saying about glaciers carving their way through the landscape? Well, I suppose it was a jolly long time ago now, creating these lovely. Yards. The chap was just saying over the doodad that the mountains here are a kilometre high. The tallest one is two kilometres high and that the water is how deep? 200 metres two, deep. 200 metres deep at least. I was thinking how very inviting it looks. It looks welcoming, like you kind of just want to dip into it. I think my dad used to have this job. He took boat tours around Fjordland in the 70s. And he said it was like just him and one other crew member who was like the waitress.
get my hot chocolate wet. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my god! Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh shit! Sorry, my camera got quite wet. <laughs> the man just said over the PA that a glacially fed shell makes you younger, so I think I just got 10 years added to my life. I hear that some people come here and it's just so beautiful that they cry. I guess I can, I can understand that. such a bright green beetle. You look like you belong to Australia. Did you get lost? All right, let's make sure our car doesn't get stolen. Photos really don't do it justice. No, they don't. It's my tasty bit of honor. <laughs> oh, who knows what it is. A room with a moose! I can't look at my hair and not hate it at the moment. Just trying to look at it too much. Or my face. Just don't look at me. Just don't look at me. Don't fucking look at me! I can't even remember what film that was from. Oh, that looks alright. I need the knife. <laughs> don't eat the knife. But that's the best part. Tastes like blood when you eat knives. Thanks, Mr. L. Every dairy in the South Island has ice cream on a cone, and for some reason they don't in the North, and that is one of the many reasons why the South is superior. South will rise again. <laughs> south, south gone rise again. Dunedin will be the capital of New Zealand. I have this bottle of cherry wine, and I really want to drink it, but I, it's got a fucking cork in it. As you can see, I've tried to remove the cork with my pocket knife. I read that thing where, you know, you can put a lighter here and heat it up and it'll pop out or whatever after about a minute. But I don't have a lighter. But so all we've got is like gas hobs. I don't know if that's extremely dangerous and stupid, but I mean, what other choice is there? And now I've just got a hot one bottle. There was a French guy in there, I think, so I asked him, do you happen to have a corkscrew? And he didn't, astonishingly. And he said, have you tried pushing it in? And unfortunately I didn't film it, because the wine went absolutely everywhere. All over me, and all over the bench, and all over the place. Oh. Hopefully there aren't just corky bits floating around inside. Come on! <laughs> ah, I just want a glass of wine! That's the view from the window, isn't that nice? There's a grill and stuff over there. Weka are very cute. And Weka are cute. Almost tame. I've patted a wicker. I would love to see a more pork. I had a dream I was visited by an owl last night. Look at me. Look at me, Tui. Look at me. Tui, look at me. How many geese do you reckon it'd take to take you out? I reckon I could take 74 geese. I was thinking more like 25-ish. I feel like they can be pretty vicious. Those people are singing. Oh, hello. Hey, Mr. Kaka. Can we see you? Oh, aren't you handsome? Hello. <laughs> oh, look at his little feet. Hmm. I guess they're probably quite intelligent. I mean, this chap knows that if he stands on that thing, it'll open and there is food inside. Well, they're not rare, though, these these kakas, are they? That's the sad thing about New Zealand. It's like all of our native creatures are birds and they're all rare. Oh, you're so beautiful. 
He's trying to eat your phone. Aren't you friendly? Hello, gorgeous creature. So you're a kakariki. Kakariki means green. Aren't you so friendly? Oh my gosh. I want to touch you. You're so green. Please don't bite me. <laughs> yes, what do you reckon? Hey man, woman. Oh, g'day. You guys have got lovely voices, very distinctive voices when you're flying through the sky. Oh, oh, oh you're wow. wow. Oh. Apparently these guys, that's, that's the daddy, that's the mummy. Maybe that's why they're a bit grumpy. These are all their babies. <laughs> these guys are nocturnal. I feel like it's pretty unlikely to see one, but it would be so great to see one. And make the most beautiful, well, as it says there on that sign, haunting call. <laughs> like that, but less bad. There's one like. Beautiful sound. Sorry about the fence and the way and the terrible. Oh! He moved his head. Never seen a tucker hair no, before. No, mum and dad. Hello! It's another male and female paradise duck pair. Hope they're not going to launch themselves at us like the other ones were. So, weren't tucker hay thought to be extinct? They were. Thought to be extinct for how long? A long time. Long time. Oh, look at you. Extremely rare bird. Maybe it is just a baby. It doesn't have a red beak yet or no. even blue body. See this one in the background has got the red beak and blue body. <laughs> oh, look at the front. <laughs> look at you guys being not extinct. So that must be it. it's that must be its chick. This is a really good little bird sanctuary. It may not look it from where I'm standing, but there's actually they all have heaps of space. The entire Population of Takahe. The entire wild population. The entire wild oh, population yeah. of Takahe live over there. Only about 130. 130. In the wild. In the wild. Wow. Well, I feel very privileged to have been able to see four. Mm -hmm.